With that being said, away we go. Hey, kittens, we're back. (laughs) It's Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud Drag Race, season 15, episode number one of COL Drag Race, which we're going to be covering episodes number one, two, three, and a four. Where we had One Night Only, Parts 1 and 2, All Queens Go to Heaven, and Supersized Snatch Game. Yes. So, uh, yeah, it's been a minute. We've been away. Have you missed us? We've missed you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Damon and I have been busy, and part of the gig is that we uh, have very busy schedules. And so trying to line up to be able to do this show has been a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. The 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 tea, everyone. Just so you're aware, like, you know, lives have been busy. Things have been going on. Like, since, like we've been we got we got stuff to do. You know, I didn't. I forgot. I left it upstairs. But you know, some somebody's getting married. So, uh, <laughs> so there's a lot going on. I didn't. I didn't put my ring on this morning. So that's okay. That We're happens, not going to so. judge you for it. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, we're going to dive right in uh, and kind of talk about some specific things from the first four episodes. Uh, Damon and I are kind of in agreement that, you know, uh, girl, you know how many like dozens, if not hundreds of podcasts are out there doing breakdowns and recaps and, you know, like they're literally discussing every second of the show. Mm -hmm. We left those behind years ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. Like, so we're going to discuss highlights low lights, uh, skid marks, and other things <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that have happened Woo! in the show. Well, I'm just saying. Highlights, low lights, balayage, something like all those things. That's where <laughs> I thought you were going. You went in a totally different direction. <laughs> so with that being said, are you ready for our first segment? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Racers, start your engines and may the best drag queen win. That's right, hunties. So it's put pedal to the metal. Uh, So we're going to give our overall thoughts about these first couple of episodes. And of course, we're bringing back serves, swerves, and nerves. Mm -hmm. Serves, of course, are the positive things that we appreciate that were done or shown in the show. The uh, swerves are the, uh, ooh, girl, you did that? Okay. Um, Maybe you shouldn't do that. And then there's nerves, which... Hunty could be like, yes, mama, house boots down, you know, all this and that. Give her all the points. Um, And there could also be, girl, you got a lot of nerve. Mm -hmm. Like so much nerve. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, uh, we're going to kind of go in a a little bit. Um, Just before we get into those three, though, Damon, was there anything that really stood out to you in terms of these first few episodes as overall thoughts Uh about this new season? Um, I will say this much, uh, so many queens, like, <laughs> so many queens, so, <laughs> I don't know if you heard him. <laughs> I think he said, why are there so many queens? Yeah, he was doing the, 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 if Don Knotts from Family Guy kind of thing, like, why are there so many ostriches? Anyway, <laughs> um, if you get, if you know the reference, you know the reference, if you know, you know, um, but yes, the, the. There are 16 queens this season. Yes. 16. A dozen and a quarter dozen. Like, it's... <laughs> so there are a lot of girls on the show. Mm-hmm. And I'm... I will appreciate the attempt um, to sort of split everything up. But I feel like in years past... We've had this opportunity to kind of, granted, it's been like five, it's usually five episodes, but you have the first set of girls come in, and then you have the second set of girls come in, and then you have them 
like mead or you do something kind of like where there's the pork chop, you know, dock and and all this stuff. Like you do all these fun things where we get little opportunities to potentially get to know the girls just a little bit more before the whole like full on competition kind of like come raging in. This time around, it felt a little rushed. A mm. little rushed. It wasn't. We did get a separation. And I will appreciate, I do appreciate the separation. I, I like the, the like, we're going to have these first eight come in, and then they're going to go off and do this thing, and then reset every fucking thing, like nobody's been there, mm -hmm. and then have another set come in. I'm sure that meant for a really long day, but mm -hmm. it, it, it was it was nice. It was a good little way to kind of make this work, and um, then you have the reveal of them all. But really, I think my overall thought is there's just a lot, and right. we've we've like we're we're kind of talking about four episodes in, and we're dealing with something else, which I will get into much later. But um, we're 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 are we going to get enough time to get to know these girls? So I, I agree with you. Like uh, sixteen queens, the largest cast uh, of any season yet, is a lot to handle, um, and there's a lot of personalities. Mm -hmm. And so um, the editing has been interesting, to say the least. And I agree with you. There's so much content to cover um, right. that you know there's there's been questions about what was left on the cutting room floor, up right. to and including um, some discussion about the fact that when the queens were there for filming they were under the impression everything was done and set up to be a 90 minute show mm. and that is not what is being aired yes we will we will i will be <laughs> right talking about that so we'll i I, that. I think that's a factor overall for the season mm -hmm. um and yet some of the things are still classic um not so great queen's gotta go home uh, in the first part of the season, you know, we've got to move right. on to the powerhouses that are, you know, uh, right. gonna slay right, right, right. and all that jazz. So some okay. things are, are the same and some things are not. Right. So that being said, uh, let's talk about serves. Who are you uh, giving serves for? Like, what are these what are the positive things sure. out of these first episodes you liked? So I, as I, I, you know, everyone knows my little notebook. So mm -hmm. I always write stuff down I, and I. Did it in preparation for us doing this show. So when I um, when this came about, the first thing that kind of I realized that I wrote down was like the throwback photo shoots. Mm. I was super impressed with the idea of throwing back to those first couple of seasons when they were doing these photo shoots and kind of redoing them. Um, obviously, it was a little more modern. Um, we didn't have like uh, it wasn't it, it was it was really well done. And they split the queens up enough. They gave us eight, like eight queens, kind of which was about the size of the cast in the first season um, to kind of do it all. And I really thoroughly enjoyed that. I personally um, it's good to take what you were and bring it into the new. Um, and I think they re did a really good job with it. So I was I, I loved it. Um, there were some really fun moments. There were some really, you know, hilarious moments, but that kind of what happens when you throw queens, throw water on queens and then put a big fan on them and blow them. Like that's just, mm -hmm. that's just going to be the way it is. Um, and then f another thing that I kind of wanted to give a serve to, um, believe it or not, was came during snatch game. And it was the cute, quirky 1960s Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Mm hmm. And her wonderful rendition take on Tim Gunn. Hmm. She was funny. She was she was on point. She looked the part. And she she did a lot of positive things with that with that snatch game. That was quality snatch game to me. Hmm. Yeah. I agree with you that the the retro but updated photo shoots were fun. Mm -hmm. um, I um, 
I was concerned for some queens because for entrance looks, they decided to wear the good stuff. Uh huh. And especially for the first set of eight because they were going to get wet. And I was like, well, those are kind of ruined. Yeah. But that's Possibly. that's the gig. Like you, you're trying to win two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, by the way, in case you haven't watched the show, they upped the grand prize. Cash so they, money. Yeah. So yes. they 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 upped it. You know, which is kind of hysterical because I was like, um, so fuck Jinx's drag. Is that what we're saying? Just asking. I'm just, I'm just asking, you know, I mean, I, I guess this would be appropriate. I don't know if I want to call it shade, though. I mean, it's just fact. Yeah. She, she yeah. you know, congratulations to our, our queen of, uh, queen of all queens, uh, Miss Jinx Monsoon. She got, she got the same amount of money. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, for me, uh, in terms of serves, uh, it is consistently pretty much just one thing. Sasha Colby. Yes, that. Sasha Colby. Now, I have heard her name before. Don't know her. Uh, might see her one day. Hey, boo. Uh, but, you know, like, I was like, okay, how interesting. Like, some of the queens are already quaking in their boots. Like, the moment she walks in and they right. know who she is. And I was like... Interesting. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Chad Michaels arriving on the scene. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, to me, this is kind of almost up there if like Varla Jean Merman happened to walk in as a competitor. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, right. you know, like legendary names within the field. Um, not that I ever expect Varla to do that, but that would be a gag. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I, I was like, okay, like, let's see. And she is delivering. Oh, yeah. And, and and she's really, like, crafted. Like, I mean, she's well integrated in the L.A. scene, knows a lot of queens, knows a lot of queens who have been on the show. Mm -hmm. So she's been prepped. Yeah. She knows how to give good confessional, how mm -hmm. to be emotional, how to be funny how to be like the mother that's nurturing like how to give space my favorite thing in the first two episodes was about like children gonna be children so you just let them make a mess and then you come in and clean up after them <laughs> <laughs> i was like between yes. between her and mistress <laughs> i'm like I am loving this season of like veteran, well, uh, time served, experienced mm -hmm. talent, like right. being a grounding force because I can't imagine which direction this season would spin without them. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, absolutely agree. And I think that's been like, there's this very interesting this season. Um, amongst other seasons, unlike other seasons, excuse me, is there's this very big dichotomy. Mm. There's a lot of, I'll say it, old school drag and new school drag. Oh there's yeah, this it, very, it, yeah, it's quite this, it's quite the the spread mm -hmm. of of those and in between. Yeah. I don't I'm not saying it's going to be like the 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 arc of the season but we've we've already heard things you know we've we've learned that um I, you may be getting in this a little bit like um mistresses has miss miss mistresses mistress has taken on um she has become the drag mother of sugar and spice mm. right so that's something that has been like out there in the twits and the tweets and what have you, but yes. yeah, but there's I, that. I, I find that all very interesting. So yeah, I mean, it's like, I, I, as, as something that stood out to me classically consistently, she really doesn't seem to be have her feathers ruffled by anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's what wins. Yeah. Slow and steady. Mind your biz. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Yeah. And like, take the feedback. Give them what they want. 
Right. So, and it's kind of interesting because a little bit on the runway, I really feel like she's been like serving at a level that other people really aren't at. (laughs) And so there's a part of me that's like, well, it doesn't seem very fair. But then there's another part of me that's like, bitch, she's been doing this forever. Right. So, you know. Right, right, right. So both her and Mistress so far have really kind of pulled things out and been like, mama, this is drag. Like, you may eat it. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yes. And I just concluded something I thought it wasn't necessary. That's okay. So now we're moving (laughs) on to swerves. So these are the misses. These are the, these are the, uh, hmm. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps not. Uh, I am so, (laughs) 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 oh, I can't wait. David, what, what is your, what is your swerve <laughs> so um mm, so i wrote I'll, I'll just say what i wrote down which is lux's high safe delusion yes this is going to be some shade yes this is going to be but i feel like it's a nice little pot of tea um lux noir london is one of the younger girls on the show mm-hmm. and don't get me wrong she's gorgeous she does really wonderful things. She's doing really wonderful on in the painting department and the like stomping the runway and stuff. Um, but in Untucked, are they're calling it something else in on MTV? We'll get to that. Mm-hmm. Um, in the Untucked, she mentioned something like as she's coming off stage, like I'm high. I feel as though there are two types of safe. There's High safe and low safe. And I was like, no, 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 we're not, we're not, there's no, there's no such thing as high safe. We're not categorizing safety. Safe is in the middle. You all fell in the middle. Like there's no, you're not high safe or low safe where you might be. No, there's no, that's no such thing. Right. Like, to me, there's not. You are either top, safe, or bottom. Right. And you either win or you get eliminated. Like, that's that's the rules. Them's the rules, girls. Like, we're not trying to de, like, participate in the war, this fucking shit. Like, no. Like, you can have this delusion about all your thinking. Because you've had this twice now. This is the second time. Like, you had this whole moment where you're having a conversation with Lucy about you being in the high or second place because of like, you know, I think this was after Metallica, um, the runway and all that stuff where Mm -hmm. you were like, I was, I'm, I was like second place. No, no, Mm -mm. no. Again, there are three tops and of those three, there's a winner. Mm -hmm. There's not a second and third. There's a winner and two people. No, we're not playing this game. We're not doing this thing. Like that is that's not a thing. So we're not making it a thing. <laughs> yeah, like, whatever she's, you want. <laughs> she's whatever. really serving yeah. up this delusion that you mentioned. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a part of me that like I appreciate the chutzpah mm-hmm. of being young and like self advocating and believing in yourself and like right. n- giving no fucks about what anybody else thinks. Mm-hmm. But there's a part of me that's like, yeah, but that, that only gets you so far. Like, and, and some of these Queens are not going to deal with it. And no. Lucy is being incredibly like, uh, polite mm-hmm. and pageant and isn't putting Lux in her place. Right. Um, Cause so, like we all know, de- you know, not detox. Um, um, Jinx's, you know, perfume, delusion. Convince yourself. Yes. Yeah. This is all what it, that's what it feels like to me. Yeah. There's there's a part of me that um, I'm finding her a little grating, uh, uh-huh. and she is not always serving it on the runway. Um, I'm just gonna throw that out there now. Uh, I was pissed at this latest runway since you brought her up. I'll mention it. Uh, so if you're going to be so good about your paint and you're going to serve this look, do you know what does it match? Your legs to your arms and your face. 
Right. So if you were thrown off into the water with a cement cinder block and it held you down, do you know what all of your skin would look like? It should be the same. Mm-hmm. Not look like tights. And mm-hmm. then you put makeup on your arms yeah. and on she your face. She mentioned something. Chest. Hold on. Let me see if I can find her. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're going to just skip all that shit because I don't need to read all that. Hold on. Where'd she put it? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, so this is what she said. This is her tweet. Also, the lighting on the runway will really washed out the color of the tights. They matched a lot better in person, and if you notice, in other shots, they match pretty well. Um, we're gonna have to agree to disagree on that part. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm literally looking at the video right above this tweet and I'm kind of like now you can again believe what you want to believe but facts are facts right she would have been better off wearing pants yeah are so, you so she could at, that- well so she could at least have body so she right. could have shape and you could still yeah. distress the pants yeah but anyways so that that was my beef with her as I was like Yeah, she mentions again something about like uh she did make the outfit herself and that's that's really nice and I appreciate that. I'm glad you were able to make the like the top kind of thing and that she talked about how she like used glues or something like that to kind of make it sort of water logged and that's great. I would have done because you met first thing, one of the things you mentioned specifically, and I remember it because I wrote it down bride. You're supposed to be a bride. So there's nothing really bridal about the look. Mm. So if you, but if you had gone that bridal route and gone to a longer like dress or something along those lines, it would have been a little bit more convincing. Right. It was a good effort. It just did not pan well. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, there was just one person in particular that I really felt uh, it was a swerve. Um, and I wrote Poopy Princess. Um, I already know. Okay. I had to go back and watch Untucked from the third episode because everyone was talking online about how she like signed her exit Mm -hmm. and how she basically told production to send her ass home. And I was like, what? So then I had to go watch it and be like, well, okay. I understand what she was attempting to tell the group, Mm -hmm. but that is not a conversation I would have had. Nope. Definitely not on camera. Right, right, right. Like, I was like, you're an idiot. Like, you just (laughs) told them, send my ass home. I understand what you're you're attempting to communicate to everybody, which is, no matter where I get in this competition, I will be okay with that. Mm -hmm. But that's not how you said it. No. And all these queens are like, girl, what are you doing? Like... Advocate for yourself. Fight for yourself. Like, no one no one said it, but I could tell it started to turn into, then why the fuck you here? Like, some other queen could have been here instead of you. Right. And I'm not trying to be that bitch, but I'm going to be that bitch. Like, totally that. Like, I get you, you, you said in Untucked that you were thinking about getting about leaving, like, quitting drag all, all together. Mm-hmm. You, you mentioned that and you're like, oh, I'm going to give this one more shot to get on Drag Race, blah, blah, blah. And your only goal essentially was to not go home first. Yeah. I would have said everything except that last part. Mm. Like I wanted to get on Drag Race. I wanted to try one more time or else I was going to quit or whatever, 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 whatever. And then I got on. Great. 
left it at that, and we would have all been fine. Yeah. But you kind of made this sort of your ultimate goal was to not go home first. Right. So congratulations, you didn't go home first. Right. But you went home second, which is kind of the same. Yeah. So and you like you said, you, she signed her she signed her death warrant when she said, you know, I I didn't want I I, I didn't want to go home first. And if I go home tonight, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, there's the door. I'm okay with it. Well, here you go. Yeah. Why don't you just? I mean, you could have just done a. That's going to be shady. You should have just done a Charlie Hires and just stood there and did limp sync. Like, you. I mean, don't get me wrong. She was. She did the lip sync. She was kind of fighting. And I will own. Like, I was watching as I was watching it. It's kind of like. Okay. Like. You're. You're. You're not giving up mm-hmm. as it were so maybe maybe this is working all right but mm, yeah yeah you 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 kind of fashion that cute little like step off button when you said what you said right like production had every opportunity to go Oh, you don't want to be here, and you're not correct. <laughs> it would be different if this was said much later in the season, but maybe it's early, and we gotta get rid of the cast. So we right? gotta, we gotta narrow it down to at least half. And and to be honest, I don't remember much about you. Mm. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Moving on to nerve. What do you what do you got? Oh, okay. So I have watched this so many times <laughs> because it was so fucking amazing. And that is a Nietzsche's talent show number. Her okay. her 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 performance was on on point, was amazing. Her her um little her duck duck walk, her motherfucking duck duck walk. Like it just it everything about this number was was great. I love her energy. I love the confidence. And then and then she threw in a little twist mm-hmm. with some karate, like or judo, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Martial arts, <laughs> yes. Martial arts and splitting the boards. I was worried for the for the for Bryce. I think that's Bryce. Yes. But yeah. I was worried because I, I, I've watched it so many times. So you notice, so there's the hand chop, which not too bad, but then there's the kick. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> as I said, I've seen this. Bryce, Bryce looks like, like he is scared to fucking death. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to lose a hand. I'm going to lose an arm. I'm going to lose a finger, something, something. And he, he's holding it. He, and he's, I mean, he's, Fortunately, strong and, and holding it strong because it would have really sucked if it had failed. But it doesn't look like he, he knew what he was doing. And that's what scared me the most because if you don't know what you're doing, it becomes a little harder. Right. So, but overall, though, start to finish, fun number, great energy, built really well, kicked ass, <laughs> literally. And I just, I just, I loved it. So it's my nerve. You had nerve coming up on the stage and, and showing all these girls out and like, yeah, worked. Nice. Yeah. I really did like that number. Um, it, it surprised me. It titillated me in unexpected <laughs> ways. Right. Um, so I very much appreciate it. Yes. Uh, very much a nature deserved like all the kudos and recognition mm-hmm. for that, because I do think it was one of the top performing um, talent show numbers. Right. So nerve. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gary, how about you? Uh, okay. Oh God. Oh, Oh no. This is going to be controversial. I guess we're going to talk about it. I guess we're going to talk about it. <laughs> let me, let me <clears throat> pull up my seat. Uh, I just, I, 
I don't know what to say about this. But I mean, this has productions fingerprints all over it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I, this is not good nerve. This is bad nerve. Um, it's sugar and spice. This whole twin situation. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I had to do this was because of how the last episode ended. Right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like, does it really matter? I mean, at this point, hopefully you've seen the last episode. Uh, the latest one, I should say. At the end of, of uh, the Snatch Game episode, to no one's surprise, uh, the twins end up lip syncing against each other. Now, I will admit, their performance surprises me in the context of Untucked. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't see Untucked. Like, I didn't stop... And then go watch Untucked and then watch the lip sync. I just watched the full episode and then later went mm. back and watched Untucked. So watched um, I, I did, yeah. I I was surprised at the drama, the um <laughs> the PTSD of their lives, like and mm-hmm. the revelation about how they've really been their own support system for each other, which is part of the why they are a duo and why they are this thing. Right. Um, that being said, like the moment they arrived on the scene, I was like, okay, they're going to annoy the fuck out of me probably. And, and I don't think that that's their intention. It's just who they are that they, you right. know, they, they have bits and their characters mm-hmm. and like, you know, and, and they really are crafted in a new generation technology, like kind of aspect of things. And, you know, when you got the backstory of them and their fi- family dynamic, I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, there's a whole bunch of things that make a lot of sense suddenly. Right. Which is why Sasha goes over and comforts them. Mm-hmm. And even though Mistress was claiming she was going to be one of their drag mothers, um, I thought it was an odd arrangement that Lucy and... uh. Sasha are the two that go over and support Sugar because she's like kind of having a breakdown because mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Spice had walked away. But the reason why it was not great nerve is I feel like production knew what they were getting with the two of them. Right. And no one was surprised that they ended up having to lip sync against each other. Right. I was a little surprised to discover from Untucked that they planned on both walking out together that like, if one of them gets let go, then they're both getting let go. Like they will not separate and that it took most of the cast to talk them into like, how, why would you do that? Like you're here Mm -hmm. as an individual opportunity and they knew that they were individual competitors, like contestants Right. And yet that never really has come across because they've always been working together. I mean, right. they've been together since they were in the womb. So I'm like, what a interesting dynamic. Yeah. Um, but I really don't feel that it was like, I don't know if it served to the better of the, of the show. And Agreed. I'm also bothered by the fact that because they are a duo act, everything is is twinsy all of the runway looks have some twin aspect to them the right. closest where they didn't look the same was the the uh intellectual property shall not be named conglomerate like copyrighted princess looks. <laughs> <laughs> but they still it still went together it did go right. together but it was the most different where all the rest of them seemed to be like this one's in in bright bubbly colors and this one's in dark colors. Do you know what I mean? Like it, right, right, it just right, wasn't right. anything it, that more dynamic. So here we go. Um, when they when they mentioned this and they did like I saw the you know we go in, we're going back to like they're announcing the queens and they show this thing and they have them come up. I one of my immediate thoughts was. 
either one or two things. They're either going to go all the way to the top mm-hmm. or they're, they're going to be gone really quickly. And this whole twin dynamic was going to be to their detriment. And what I mean by that is, like, I immediately was comparing the two. And it became, it wasn't difficult when, because everything that they did was the same. Mm -hmm. And none of the payoff of having them quote unquote compete separately happened. Right. Like uh spoiler in episode five, we finally get to see what that could be. Right. Because one of them was told to sashay away and they made the decision that only one of them was going to leave. Right. And that the other did stay. Mm-hmm. Now there's probably a huge misdirect in the preview for next week because they make mm-hmm. it look like the twin that's staying is like spiraling. Right. And is lo- right. and is not able to Yeah. To keep it together yeah. to, to to do it alone. Yeah. And and that's sort of the thing that I am cons- well, not concerned. I don't I'm not I don't care, honestly. But mm-hmm. it's it is this going to be the thing where that person, that the one who's staying, um, does well on her own? I don't think that's going to happen. Personally, mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but I feel like we're going to get maybe an episode or two, and then we're, she's going to be gone. Like I just, yeah, I don't, I don't see her making it to top four. Right. 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 Um, I caught something weird on the internet. Um, I'll discuss it with you maybe in post show or off air, uh, <laughs> about the order of the Queens in a certain thing. Mm. And it occurred to me that possibly someone had some inside scoop and was like posting them in the order of departure. Mm. Um, so I found that very interesting because I was like, wait, what, why are they like, they're not an alpha order. Oh, so I was mm. like, this is weird. Um, mm. And and like towards the end, it was it, if you look at the listing backwards, it's as the queens have been leaving. So I thought that was strange. Um, so, yeah, there if yeah. if that happens to be a portent or a future foretell, uh, then yeah, mm. the one that remains will not yeah. necessarily stay that long. But and and again. I get why you brought them both on mm-hmm. from a production standpoint. I get why they're both here. You would not have brought one without the other. It just wouldn't have made sense. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a great like classic hook. You know, no matter what. So that made sense. However, I don't think y'all realize or I don't know, maybe you didn't realize the the are you new to story and you were ready to put it out there for the purpose of production or you didn't know the story and realize how close they were. And you're now kind of like, well, we got to get rid of one of them. Yeah. I mean, there's a part of me that wonders if how much production was not prepared for Mm -hmm. their, uh, undiagnosed ADHD, like, like, off the scale, like craziness. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, like they're, they, they, I, I'm genuinely surprised that Brew kept it together during Snatch Game. Right, and and that's the key thing: the way they behaved, because they kept them together in their group of seven. Mm-hmm. That was sort of a surprise to me because then they decided to play off of each other, and Amethyst was in the middle of them, and Amethyst was not having it. Right. And I was like, this is pretty bad. And of course, production's going to leave in like the bad aspect of their behavior mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. intentionally so that the audience understands like why the decision will be made later that they're going to end up being in the bottom. Right. Um, so, yeah, 
it, it was a whole mm-hmm. thing. It was a whole thing. Okay. You ready to move on? Yes, let's. All right, Kitten, so it is time for snaps and eye rolls, a.k.a. the hits and the misses. These happen to be the high points and the low points, things that we want to give shout-outs to um, across the episodes. And we're going to start with our snaps. Uh, Damon, who are you giving snaps to? So we, we talked about one, so I'll get to that one first. Okay. And that's Sasha Mama Colby. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. we've already discussed her prolificness <laughs> earlier mm-hmm. but i cannot say it enough how much it's kind of amazing seeing her on the show um she's been killing it from the time she stepped into the fucking workroom to now um she's been giving amazing runways she's been giving amazing performances her god with the neck like snap thing (laughs) just (laughs) just epic i want to know where that comes from and by that i mean like who who came up with that because it's a great consistent gag yeah like it, it it sounds a lot like the the like in a in a in a dance mix, it's that like sound that uh, that is made, like the like the whip snap or something like that. It feels like something along those lines. Like it was like a specific thing. I know you're looking it up. Go for it. But um, it just felt it was just golden. It was it was perfect. It worked. I I love. It. Yeah. I I I will. I will spend money to go see Sasha perform. Because from her, like her talent show number was just so epic, and and then um, her runways have been exquisite, and she knows her she knows her body, she knows her form, mm-hmm. she's got some great stuff, and yes, she was Miss Continental, but whatever, like that's 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 great, that's amazing, and that's probably how people know her, but. I have seen so many facets to her in these first four episodes alone that make me a fan of hers. I agree. I feel like she's the culmination of what has been desired by the pageant community on this show in 15 seasons. Right. Because she is like each year we're getting another iteration of people who have done pageants, people who have won things, but like back to the Alyssa, like Edwards era, and mm-hmm. the whole drama um, mm-hmm. of her and Coco Montrese and all this stuff that like people outside of Drag Race didn't know boo about if they didn't follow the scene. Um, right. I feel like there's always been another iteration, another iteration. Trinity the Tuck, you know, like these queens who have been trying to break into Drag Race, and by that I mean like show that they can be multifaceted and talented, you know, right. Jada Essence Hall ended up winning, you know, like, like they were trying to say like, yes, we can come from this scene. We can be cultured. We can be poised, but we can be fucking funny. We can be mm-hmm. like, we can act, we can do all these things. And, and I think Sasha is like just the pinnacle of that journey um, right. at this point. I'll be curious to see how far she goes. I have high hopes. Um, I'm here. hoping that she's not like, you know, shooting it all up front um and then kind of <laughs> doesn't do good later yeah i hope that's not the case either i do i she's my like contender like mm-hmm. i feel like she's up there but we, we we've said that before and i can be wrong and then my second real quick um um lucy laduca as joan rivers mm-hmm. and snatching it was top notch Mm-hmm. performance she she had she had zoned down look voice like comedic timing self-deprecating everything all it just all worked so well and i i kind of i loved it 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 
I yeah, was laughing up. Yeah. The only thing about her in Snatch Game that she can't overcome is that she has a long face. Mm-hmm. Lucy Luduka has a very like long almond kind of shaped face. Like it's rounded mm-hmm. at the top and, and pointed towards the bottom. And that was the only thing about her as Joan Rivers that kept taking me out of Joan was I kept looking at her face and I was like, I'm like, you look, you look a lot like her. You sound like her, but you're just not exactly there. And Snatch Game is not an impersonation like Chad Michaels level of share. It, it doesn't have to be that. No. But it helps. Um, yeah. Like like in the selling of things. And that was the only thing I kept thinking about. It was I was like, what is it about her face? And finally it occurred to me. I was like, she has a long face. And Joan had a bit of a round face, especially towards oh. her later years um, because of all the cheek filler and everything that she had done. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, you know, I was like, if only in a way you can kind of squash your face a little. Um, yeah. But no, I mean, yeah, I agree. She she really, really did serve. And I And I have to say. If I didn't think Sasha was a top contender, if she wasn't a part of this season, then Lucy, De, you know, Laduca is definitely a, a one to one to watch out for competitor. Right. Like she knows, she knows her shit. She's seasoned and mm-hmm. prepared. Has done homework. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a little concerned she might be a little too prepared. Um, that she's going to be a little too polished, but we'll see. Yeah, how that how that plays out. All righty. What about you? All right. So at first I didn't think any ha- I had any snaps. And then just now when you were talking, I realized that I do. I want to give snaps to Irene Dubois. Mm. The pork chop Parker of the season, <laughs> which is not the right way to phrase it. But she was the first one out. Um, I call her the almighty challenger. And the reason right. why is I think she left too early. Mm-hmm. She's an incredibly talented from what I've seen. I think that some of the queens did not like her personality because what she was saying she was doing was treating everybody like it's backstage back home. Right. And I think the queens were like, nobody was saying this, but I get a slight impression. They were like, oh, 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 no, don't do that. Like, (laughs) honey, do you see all these cameras? Like, like. We, right. don't, we don't do that here. We don't do that on this show. Like, that was sort right. of, like, I don't think that was what was being said, but I just got this strange feeling that, like, nobody outside of Mistress was really understanding Irene. And, like, and then the whole, like, misunderstanding between the twins, like, observing Mistress and Irene, like, bantering back and yeah. forth. And yeah. they're like, yeah, yeah. we think you two hate each other. And then they cackle. And they're like, oh, my God. Like, you totally don't understand us. Like... Yeah. And and there's a part of me that's like you yeah you really don't get queens and there's nothing against them but it's like well if you've been cooped up in a house for yeah. most of your performance time frame due to several circumstances like yeah like you're not going to understand the the lived in culture of queens and being sassy and mm-hmm. even cunty and yeah. like you know um sarcastic and biting and like you know the and reading. The, right the and, shade, and and yeah. tackling like and, and the bond that comes between sisters because they cut each other down mm-hmm. and if anybody else tries to join in it's like oh no you don't bitch like this is no. this is family like you don't get away with that i get away yeah. with that yeah we get this away with this, that with each other yeah. this is this is our little you know backroom banter you know shit talk like this is how we always you know rally you know we're not rolling each other up per se, but it's like it's the way it is. Like we 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 kiki, we kai kai, not kai kai, <laughs> we kiki and 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 cut up and have fun, and it's sort of just like part of the 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 family. You right. said it, like the family. Yeah. The so dynamic. um, I'm hopeful if this is the big if there's a comeback episode, an opportunity. For a queen to return, she's the only one so far that I care about. Mm-hmm. Um, that I that I feel like I would like to see more from. Right. Um, I like I. I really did like Irene, and I. And she gave good. She gave great confessional. Like yeah. I did like her. I and and I was. I was a little surprised. That she went home. But. I also, you never like with the way the season and show is going. You never know. Like, I right. almost thought like 
if they had done what they had did last season, they he would have been back immediately. But that's not what I'm seeing is going to happen here. Right. I feel like there. I feel there might be a like Queen's returning episode, but I don't know how they're going to put it, especially with. 16 fucking girls on the show. I also but. feel like there may not be that at all this year. Yeah. And that might be another twist, quote unquote, like of unprecedented. They're just like, nope, ain't bringing nobody back. Mm-hmm. It's possible. Yeah. It is possible. All right. Moving on to eye rolls. Oh, I, it took me a moment to re- figure out what you wrote. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Crisco. <laughs> uh <laughs> David, what are what are your eye rolls Thank for? Thank you so much for catching. Yes, you caught it. Yes, <laughs> the double entendre. So I I I am I am my eye rolls are for the shortening. So if you don't know, and if you don't know, um, episodes this season are an hour long with commercials. So you're getting about 40, 45 minutes of actual show compared to last season or the season before where we're getting 90 minutes with commercials. And it is showing very early on. Um, I'll, like I wrote it. I wrote the last episode down. Where are you at? Are you here? Yes, you are. So Snatch Game. Classic episode for for this show, for this season, for RuPaul, Strag Race. On top of that, we're going to supersize it and have 14 queens over two rounds do the show. Then... We're only going to give you an hour. Mm -hmm. So I feel a lot was missed. Runways are shorter. We're getting very little like in the, you know, makeup or in the, in the, you know, room, like getting stuff like banter, anything along those lines. We're not getting a lot of that. We had no um, RuPaul talking with the Queen's to discuss their their choices. It was very quick. No, actually, no, Rue wasn't in there. It was it was the queens talking to each other about what they were doing mm-hmm. to where we got some of the ideas of who they were. And there weren't any, there weren't no, there weren't any like, I'm gonna do this person or maybe this person. It was a lot of, I'm gonna be her, I'm gonna do her, I'm gonna be her, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be that. And then almost immediately we were in Snatch Game. Rue's literally wearing the same fucking thing that she wore when she walked into the room or he walked into the room. And then we get that and then we go to Elimination Day and then we go to Runway and then the Runway is like super short and then we get to the rest of the stuff. It feels short. Mm -hmm. And it feels... um, like we are taking a lot away from these girls. We're going to put you on this huge ass season with 16 queens, but we're only going to give you this much time. So you either have to make it work and shine really quickly, or you're just going to be left behind. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's the case here. I, I am having, I, Grant, I you know I I write stuff down, and the main reason I wrote it down was because I don't think I want to forget some of these girls. Mm. There are queens that we haven't talked about this ep- this episode because, nah, right? I don't you know like they haven't really impressed me yet. They haven't done much to give me anything to really go on, or they've uh, been consistently safe. Right. Right. Like. It just, it's, it's, I feel, and, and I say this now, but cause, but I, I have the opposite effect. Cause when I was, when we were watching episodes last season and we we're getting fewer and fewer Queens in, mm-hmm. it became like this stretching 
to like pull stuff out to make the show run the 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that has the potential to be a thing, but now we're only going for an hour and we're already there. So we're getting, I'm, I'm conflicted, but I'm eye rolling it because I don't think we're giving the Queens a fair shot. You're sp- it's been mentioned all over the the, 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 the social meets about the Queens not really liking this. There's predictions about making the show 90 minutes long uh, that I, I appreciate the effort, but that can't happen. Like they're not going to suddenly pull all of the old the footage that they cut out and try to make the show longer. That's just not going to happen. They um, could, but they won't. Yeah. No matter how much everybody hates the friends of WeHo. So let's talk about that real quick, because that's shit. Thank um, you. I, yeah, I personally, I don't like the real whatevers of whatever. I've mm-hmm. never liked any of the shows. I get that they're popular. I get that they're a thing. I get like, you know, society loves them. I don't. I'll, I will share like little, you know, I know my little bloops and my little things and, you know, you know, I know some of the stuff from it, but I've not watched a full, I've never watched a full episode. Mm-hmm. This show doesn't appeal to me. I don't, it, I don't get it. Cause the minute you say the real something of someone, I'm like, it's not real. We already know that. Like, it's right. not going to be reality. So no, like it doesn't appeal to me. Right. This show in particular doesn't p- appeal to me. Um, and there is a major reason why. You know, it's someone that has been kind of removed from RuPaul's Drag Race for a while. And it involves someone who is quite problematic in our community. So why are we giving Todrick Hall another show? That was a choice. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why are why are why are we doing this when we know he's controversial and we know how many people feel about him and his behaviors in recent years and all of this stuff has come to light and you're literally promoting it with that in mind. So of course people aren't going to like this show or want to watch this show. And I don't care what you say, Todd or Colin, I don't care if you even hear this. I doubt you will. But I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I don't care that you're a queer person on doing a show. I don't care that this is a queer show. I don't have to watch it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not. Period. I literally turned off the TV last on, on Friday. No, well, no, we didn't turn off the TV. We went to, we left, we watched it on Sling. We left Sling and went to like YouTube or something else. I think I watched, maybe we watched Fashion Photo Review at the last episode. I don't remember. I know we watched something else. Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Like I understand. Mm. Well, there's that. (laughs) You feel better now? Much. Okay. (laughs) Um, I'm giving eye rolls to just social media drama. This is kind of like a rinse and repeat thing, I realize. But um, I'm like, ugh, children. I can't keep up. Like, I'm not, like, like you were talking about the petition. And there was Mm -hmm. this whole thing between, what was it? um, Irene Dubois and, uh, hell, I forgot their name uh story anyways from Ryan story yeah from the last season and like it was funny because there was a part of me that's like if you two are trying to like make a thing happen because you're in agreement on like creating drama like just for the sake of like you know drama like mm-hmm. you're not you're not very good at it um mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm just like yeah oh, yeah like I, I just mm-hmm. uh, I don't care I'm not interested yeah yeah um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like, 
boopy doop. Like, you know, <laughs> let's move on, you know. Yeah. It was a thing. It was a choice. It was a choice. Yeah, I, I mean, I, and, and to be fair, I mean, the moment – in addition to that, this isn't really this isn't really social media drama, but like the moment Princess Poppy walked out in the Metallica look, I was like, "Girl, where's the rest of the outfit?" Yes. I guess that's my second eye rolls. Like, I just I was <laughs> like, "You're naked. Where the fuck's the rest of the outfit?" <laughs> I was so confused. Did you forget to pack it at home? Like, did you, did, you, did you not pack the rest of it? Like, did you forget? Did you lose it? It's pretty sad when other queens are like, you could have come out like detox, like painted your body and looked like a robot had done better. I was like, damn, damn, damn. It, it was a choice. And it just, I, mm, I, I looked at that and I was like, oh, that's, it, it's cute, but. Where, like you said, where, where, where's the rest? Where's, where's the, where's the boot? Where's the, where's the, where's the, 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 the gauntlets? The, where's like something else? You could have done a fucking like silver or blue, like full body suit underneath that. Like probably blue. Yeah, it's funny because when you were saying that, I was like, yeah, she really could have gone a Wonder Woman warrior princess look and been like, put a put a metal headband in her in her mm-hmm, hair, mm-hmm. which was way too big, um, and like gauntlets and like yeah, you know, boot it, covers and you know, yeah. like it, I don't give a shit about your vajazzled like pussy, honey. Like like I didn't even notice it until you had to point it out and untuck. That was awkward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Like, I didn't even notice it when you were lip syncing, which was also awkward. Uh, so, yeah, I just, girl. It just, it, it just, it was, it was, it wasn't good. It just yeah. wasn't good. Yeah. And it, it, it showed to me why you left. Agreed. It showed me that you Maybe I don't know. Maybe you didn't put as much into this as you think you did. Because I would have known better. Now, I, I will maybe I'll look at what you pack in because I haven't looked at that for any of the queens yet. Mm-hmm. Maybe I will look at that and maybe there's something that you were going to put out there that would have wowed me and you just didn't get a chance to. Right. I doubt it, but we'll see. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to say. Mm-hmm. So with that, uh, that's our first episode of season 15. Woo! Four shows in, 16 queens, three have left. Many, many more to go. Uh, so if you would like to uh, follow up with us, give us your thoughts and opinions, there's several ways to do that. You can go to our blog website, CubsOutLoud.com. You can send us an email, CubsOutLoud at gmail.com. We'd be happy to like discuss your thoughts on the air. Speaking of, you could actually give us a phone call. You can leave us a voicemail message with your thoughts, yeah. and we'd be willing to play it or not play it and just discuss it. Um, you can call 361-COL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. Um, pretty much on social media outlets, just type in Cubs Out Loud, and you should find us on there in some fashion. If you would like to join our uh, Telegram chat group, you can go to tinyurl backslash telegram hyphen c-o-l-d-r. Um, if you want to know about our events calendar for when the regular show is going to be going live, because we are not recording these uh, live broadcasting, we're just doing them in-house. But if you want to know about the main stuff, you can go to tinyurl.com backslash calendar dash c-o-l. Uh, if you want to support us at Cubs Out Loud, you can do several things. You can go to our merchandise site, which is zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. And you can get various uh, items, including Cubs Out Loud Drag Race uh, mugs, T-shirts. Like, I think we got a purse. We got all sorts of things over there um, that you can check out if you're interested. And uh, if you would like to, you can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud for a dollar or more a month and get the 
uh, Patreon exclusive items. Specifically, you get the pre-show and post-show um, edit kind of things. Um, and we're almost at the mark where we're going to be doing Patreon specific sh- uh, episode stuff, um, like one-offs um, that are only for patrons. So that's mm-hmm. coming up pretty soon. And if you just want to give us a tip, you can do that. You can go to paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud and give us a one-time financial donation. Help to keep the lights on, as they say. Uh, it helps pay for the server and the website um, and some of our like equipment upgrades. If you want to find uh, Cubs Out Loud Drag Race, we do have our own uh, podcast feed. So if you're interested in it as an audio uh, podcast, you can pretty much uh, find us online on many of the podcast feeds in that case. And Damon, if they want to get in touch with you online, where would they go? Um, you can find me at theatercup79, that's T-H-E-A-T-R-E-C-U-B-7-9 on most beer-related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. <laughs> if you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gabriel73. I do have a Twitter specifically where I've like put everything that is drag race or qu- drag queen related. It's Gabriel73 D R A G on Twitter. Um, and it has helped me greatly in avoiding spoilers. Mm-hmm. And with that, this is the end of our episode, and we will be back probably in a couple weeks for another Cubs Out Loud drag race. Bye. (laughs) See you later, lovelies. Bye.